Hi, my name is Annika. I'll be the grade R teacher at Small World next year. And I wanted to make this video to introduce myself to those of you who maybe haven't met me yet, and to also talk a little bit about my background and what brings me to Small World. I always knew that I wanted to be a preschool teacher, but this journey for me started by me enrolling in a Montessori Directress program. But after I completed the year uh, training, I wanted more. So I thought of myself much like a jazz musician who first has to learn classical music. So I enrolled in a four year bachelor's of education degree at Fitz University, majoring in early childhood development. These four years were really an amazing time for me to learn about the traditional education model in South Africa. I taught in a variety of schools, mostly government schools across South Africa, um, ranging from preschools to high schools. And I really got a sense for where our challenges lie in our education system and also where the opportunities are for growth. However, after completing this degree, I felt like there was something missing. And the thing that was missing was that even though I had learned a lot about teaching and learning in general, I didn't le learn about this special period of time that we find ourselves in. Some might call this time in history the Anthropocene, but this time is really marked by huge global crises, such as climate change, environmental degradation, destruction of ecosystems, and deepening inequality and poverty. And I think that when we work with children, we really need to think about these global crises that these children will inherit and will have to face. So I looked all over South Africa and I found a place called the Sustainability Institute, which is part of Stellenbosch University. And uh, this year I completed my postgraduate degree in sustainable development. During this time, I got to learn about really amazing things like complexity theory and systems thinking, biodiversity and ecosystem services, renewable energy technologies, global development trends, um, applied economics, and a host of other subjects. But what was really amazing about this course was that all of my lecturers agreed that in all of my assignments and presentations, um, I would apply all of the learning that I had done during the modules to the education system in particular. So this year I really explored how do these global trends and scary terms, how do they apply to my work with children? And that's what brings me to Small World. Uh, I really see my work here at Small World to be an extension of this learning, of learning how to learn and teach with children and deal with these big, difficult concepts. From the time that I've spent working with your children and, and meeting them and learning with them, I just want to say that they are absolutely incredible. And I can really see that this is the result of the Reggio approach. Your children have been listened to, acknowledged and valued in a way that I haven't seen in either, any other school across South Africa. And it has made them critical thinkers, it has made them risk takers, it has made them incredible, incredible humans. And I'm so looking forward to spending more time with them and learning and teaching with them. I'm also really looking forward to meeting the families that make up Small World. And if you have any questions um, or concerns, please feel free to ask Lindley for my number or email address and I'd be really happy to have a chat with you and answer any questions uh, you might have for me. Thank you very much for l listening and um, I'm really looking forward to seeing you all soon. Bye.